Welcome to Owanapedia, the one-stop center for Uganda's history and the history of the rest of the world. The name is Tony Joffrey Owana. And I know you are already asking yourself what has happened to the old man. He's in a kanzu, sawasaja wangare, he's in a military topi. Well, what could that mean? But I will come to that very, very shortly. We encourage you to exploit the release in the lock up very, very carefully. It does not mean that the disease has gone away. Some of you have been saying, why don't I move with my whole family in the car? Why only three people? Well, supposing you are going to work, are you going to work with all your family? Please, don't experiment with the disaster. Let's join the President and his Minister of Health and other security agencies to fight this thing together. Don't try to see whether it is still there. You could become an example. In the meantime, Tokyo Biscuits, made by the Presidential Initiative on Banana Development, is the dry ration that has been seeing me through these tough times with Herbert Semyan. And we've been punctuating it with Uzima Ota, made by the National Enterprises Corporation of the Uganda People's Defense Forces of the Ministry of Defense by Uganda. Build Uganda. I do not know where Right Honorable Rebecca Litwala Kadaga was on 24th May 1966. But from the records available, she was 10 years old. If she was in Kamuli, she would probably have tried to celebrate with her parents while fire was going on in Kampala. As we speak now, Rebecca Kadaga celebrated her birthday on 24th May, and there was no chaos. Honorable Kadaga, we wish you many happy returns. Now, why am I dressed like this? I am taking you back in memory lane to the 24th of May. And the year of choice is yours. If you go to 1966, it is when these invaded the citadel of these. By these I mean the kingdom of the Kabak of Uganda. These invaded these. And the result was that from 1966, there was no Kabaka in Uganda and uh, his palace, which was called Ovidi, became Marire Barracks. And the name Marire Barracks would last until the government army left way back in December, I think, 1997. But on 24th May 1996, history was made when, for the first time in 30 years, Ordinary Baganda and their Kabaka, Ronald Mwenda Mtevi, entered Marire Barracks. That was no small thing. When Yoel Museveni took power, one of the things the NRM pledged to do was to restore the wrongs that had been inflicted on various people. Among these various peoples were the Baganda, my uncles, whose property had been annexed by government after the events of 1966. I'm not going into their merits and demerits. The fact is that property was taken and the NRM pledged itself to return whatever it would return. So on 24th May, Sarah Sajerona Dumuenda Mtevi got together with Yoweri Museveni and they celebrated with a thanksgiving in Marire Barracks. The commanding officer of 1st Division at that time was uh, Brigadier Ivan Coretta, today is a, a four-star general, and he's the one who welcomed the guests, including the Kabak, to the barracks, which is why I am dressed in such a grotesque manner. Welcome to 24th May 1996 to Marire Barracks, which would later re 
convert the owner to become Uruvirirwa Sarasajja. Only available on Oanapedia, the one-stop center for Uganda's history. First joint economical service in commemoration of the attack by government soldiers on the Ruburi, Kabaka's Paris, 30 years ago, was held Friday, the 4th of May, 1996, at the Ruburi in Mango, Kampala. The memorial service, hosted by the Kabaka of Buganda himself, His Highness Ronald Mwenda Mutebi, was attended by the Prime Minister of Uganda, the Right Honorable Kintu Musoke, former Vice President and Senior Presidential Advisor, Mzee Dr. Samson Kiseka, former Katichiwe of Buganda and Minister of Finance and Economic Planning, Honorable Mayanja Kanji, Cabinet Ministers, Heads of Diplomatic Missions in Kampara, prominent citizens, and a cross-section of Buganda clan leaders. The Chabazinga of Busoga, Isebantu Henry Murochi, Prince John Barije of Ankore, Prince George William Mawanda Chua, uncle of the Kabaka of Buganda, the regent of Toro, Prince Mujemi and Princess Elizabeth Bagaya, and a cross-section of other royal princes and princesses attended the occasion. The Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, His Grace Livingston Parani Koyoyo, the Archbishop of the Seventh day Adventist Church, Pastor Christian Alideki, and Sheikh Anas Sesimba led religious leaders to this ecumenical commemorative service. It will be recalled that in the early hours of the morning of the 24th of May 1966, selected units of the Uganda Army, acting on direct orders of the then Prime Minister Dr. A. Milton Obote and under the command of Kamiya Idi Amin, stormed the Ribiri and overthrew the Mengo establishment when they forced the Kabaka of Uganda, Sir Edward Mutesa, to flee his kingdom into exile in London, where he died three years later. This occasion was thus organized by his son and Kabaka of Buganda, Donald Mwenda Mutebi, who also was on this day entering the Rubiri for the first time in 30 years. His home the Kabaka was not by the particular of Buganda, Mr. Joseph Mwenda 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 and proceeded to greet representatives of royal families who attended the occasion before he acknowledged the Buganda Kingdom anthem. presence of the President of the Republic of Uganda, Mr. Yoweri Kagutam Seveni, who was the guest of honor and was met on arrival by the new PDF First Division Commander, Uvedia Ivan Kareta, and the particular of Uganda, Mr. Joseph Samogero. The President was then received by the Kabaka of Uganda, His Highness Ronald Mwanda Mutebi, his sister Princess Nasolo, 
his uncle Prince George William Miranda Tra and other royals at this first memorial occasion. First lesson during this joint ecumenical service was presented by Father Katende, the parish priest at Urubaga, who represented Emmanuel Cardinal Wamara of the Catholic Church. Edda Temwali Gwanga, Nayeka Akano Muli Gwanga Liakatonda, Edda Mwali Temusasi Wakatonda, Chokaka Akano Abasasi De, Abagalwa. Muli bagenyi abaito buyisi mu nsimu no Mbega irira mwe walebyo omubiri omubiri byegwegomba ebirwanyisa omwoyo Mukumenga empisa za mwe ennungi olwa abantu bensi be mulimu ne wakubadde babogera konti ebikola bya mwe bibi Basobole okulaba ebirungi bye mukola bagulumize katonda kulunaku lwali jirako kubwa mukama muulire buli kiragiro ekyabo abali no buyinza oba kabaka ali no buyinza obwo kontiko oba abafuza abalala batuma okubondereza nga bakolwa abakola ebikolwa ebibi Era no kusima ngabo abakola ebikolwa ebirungi kubanga katonda ayagala mukole ebikolwa ebirungi musirise abantu abasiru era abatali nache bamanyi mubeba dembe na ye dembe eliyo muleme kuliyesigamako okuyisa obubi wabula mulikozese ngaba wereza bakatonda Musenga mu abantu bonna ekitibwa 
Mwagalenga aboru ganda. Mutienga katonda. Musenga mwaba fuzi ejitibwa. The second reading was presented by the Reverend Father Dr. Matovu, who represented Archbishop Theodorus Nanchama of the Orthodox Church. Naye nange mbagamba nti temuziza nga mubi nayo omuntu bwakubanga oluba olwaddyo omuchuzi omuchuzi zanga no rwakono omuntu bwayagalanga okuwoza nawe Okutwara ekanzi yo omulekanga ne kisiba wocho omuntu bwaku walirizanga okutambula na ye mairemu tambulanga na ye ne yo kubiri akusabanga omuwanga omuntu bwayagalanga okumwola Tumukubanga mabega Mwaulira bwaga mbibwa nti oyagalanga munno cha ochawanga omulabe wo e mbagamba nti mwagalenga abalabe bamwe musabirenga ababayiganya muri okemuberenga abana ba kitamwe ali muguru Kubanga enjuba ye eyakira ababi nabalungi abatonyeseza enkuba abatuukirivu nabali nabatali batuukirivu kubanga ben, kubanga bemuna ayagalanga ababayagala mulina empera yangerichi naba woza tebakola after the gospel, the Bishop of Namlembe Diocese, the Right Reverend Baraga de Sekade, delivered the sermon for the occasion. We are here to thank God for the wonders and miracles he has done before us. Why should we be thankful to God? Why are we here? When we think about the basis for true thanksgiving, it is right and proper that we should feel grateful for all these things. As the visible tokens of God's providence, they constitute an important basis, but not all sufficient for true thankfulness. We feel thankful for life itself. The older we grow, the more we do feel grateful to for health. We feel grateful for strength, for food, for homes, for our country, and for our leadership. Some of us saw. Some of us saw our homes and the property destroyed and ransacked 
Either by wind or war or some other calamity. We know what it means that we stand in the grounds of Lubiri. We stand here to praise God. It is like a dream. But we sing for joy. We say as the psalmist of old said, Lord, take us back to our land. Just as the rain brings water back to dry river beds, feel deeply grateful to God for the wonders and the miracles. As we came in here, I saw so vividly these miracles. And we want to thank God for that. We are here to give Him glory. Your Excellency, the President. President wa Uganda. Saba Sajja ni brothers and sisters. Sebo Saba Sajja, iraba njinaze, ni baganda ba angebo nabali wano. The people of Israel. Abantu ba Israeli. Had been taken into Babylon. Batu aliwa, mubu wanga anguse, mubabylon. Where they spent 70 years in captivity. Nehemiah chapter 17, chapter 2 verse 17 says, To see the distress. Awo, ne mba gamba anti. Mula babo tuli obubi. That we are in. Come, let us rebuild. They strengthen their hands for this good work. Yerusalimi, <laughs> We have come here, brothers and sisters, to build this country. Your Excellency, thank you so much for allowing us to come here. Brother, we stand here to say, this day is holy unto the Lord. We should not mourn or weep. We all know how much we appreciate being thanked and how grievous it is simply to, to be taken for granted. We are deeply grateful to His Excellency, the President. These are prayers. That today will be the will, will mark the beginning of the church's presence in the military, in the police, and the prison barracks by providing the chaplain's ministry. Because they miss the service of God. May I take this opportunity to congratulate you, Your Excellency, over your election. In conclusion, in this latter part of the 20th century, we as individuals and as a nation need to recognize how utterly dependent we are upon God for preservation from conversions from within and from catastrophe without. We shall rebuild this country if we forgive those who have wronged us 
uh, by not resisting the all the hatreds and the problems that we went through. And by totally depending upon the masses of God. And nothing else can give us peace. So sure as a faith that causes us to surrender ourselves to him. We must pledge him our lives. We must pledge him our country. We must pledge him our leadership. And so during these critical days of frustration and fear, we should respond to the privilege of prayer. May I wish you the best as we celebrate this victory. Because our presence here is a victory. May the Lord bless you. After the sermon by Bishop Balagada Sekade of Namlembe, the Archbishop of the Seventh Day Adventist Church, Pastor Christian Alideki, led a prayer. Dear loving Heavenly Father, we give glory and honor to your name. We dedicate His Excellency the President in your hands. President Bless him in this time when he's establishing the government that will henceforth establish more peace in Uganda and development. No singular Dalatumayo Mkisera Chino, Galim Kuteka Teka government, again the Kurembere Guangalino, Era Ngeri Kurembera Mirembe. Heavenly Father, we dedicate to you the King. Era Katonda Afe, Twagarokwayo, Sabasaja, Kabaka Afe. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the peace that you have given in Buganda. And we want to thank you for the cooperation that is existing between the central government and the traditional leaders. Yeah. It has been because of that cooperation that we have been able to come back to this place and worship you. Oh. Heavenly Father, we pray that you may continue to establish peace in Uganda. In all parts of Uganda, Heavenly Father, establish peace. Those hearts which are hard, soften them to no good leadership. We dedicate all government departments in your care, especially the army which keeps the peace in Uganda. No. We also continue to pray for our neighboring countries. May establish peace there also. Yeah. Your peace, Heavenly Father, rule all over Uganda. Peace be on the President Museveni, on your king, the king of Uganda. Peace be abound in all Uganda and, and, in, every one, in, and in every home in Uganda. Take Another Uemba. prayer was led by Sheikh Anastasimba, who represented the Mufti of Uganda, Sheikh Ibrahim uh, Ruwemba. Nga obuganda butebe nkede Iranga ninyinimu sabu sajja magulu nyondo Kawakawa obuganda Ronald muenda mtebe wukubiri Atele dentende kuna murondo jaba jajave Hai mkama katonda wafena Nga tuju kila ekikanga wakienti isa enyo Echatu kakuwa kabakabu obuganda Nobuganda bona katimia ke satu ejise a satu ejise nyine mu buyalumbibwa nago bwa mulubiri runo mungeri yembye nnyo eyetemu ayi mukama katonda ate tukweba zo rwalero eranga tweba za nnyo nyine ddala okulabanga oluvanyo lekisere ekyo ate kati gwanga lyonna litebenkedde obuganda buladde Eranga kino kivudde kubuzira nobu wanguzi obwa kolebwa abanoni zibe gwanga lino nga bukulembera bukulemberwa omuzira na mige president yoweri kaguta mseveni yo tuli nayo wano wale <laughs> ayi mukama katonda tukunganyo wanonga tuwaye mitima jaffe jonna nobu ulize joli nga tukusaba okume egwanga lino Okumeka baka Uganda, neno noza Uganda, abarangira naba mbeja, batibinkere mirembe. 
Okume president yewe ni mseveni, government ye, abaluwa nilizibe guanga lino bona okutuwa li awamu, obwe nkanyanama zima, bisimba makanda monsi ya fene Uganda. Ikitiwa cha kabaka, ikitiwa cha kabaka, ne kabaka, bitebe nkere. Elabi sibe mwe kitiwe kijuvu, ngabo chali okuveda. Hai katonda wa fena, tukisawo kume president yo wele mseveni, okume government ye, okume kabaka no wa kabaka, ne guanga lia ferio na okutuwa lia wamu Uganda, saba sajia kabaka Ronald Mutevi, wangara, amina. Aha, you've heard the prayers by our religious leaders, the last of wars, Sheikh Anase Simba, and coming next is the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, whose election was in itself a historic one. That is Right Reverend Livingstone Baranyinkoyoyo, who has since departed. What was the history in Nkoyoyo? There was a belief earlier that it was not possible for a Muganda to be Archbishop of the Church of Uganda. Even that jinx was broken with the election of Archbishop Nkoyoyo.